we see patients, we see them because they're having difficulty getting pregnant. The patients who are having difficulty getting pregnant are offered, based on their history and their lab tests and the workup, different types of levels of treatment. Either they get pills and we do intrauterine insemination, or we do injections in intrauterine insemination. And if they don't get pregnant with those treatments, then we move on to in vitro fertilization. And in vitro fertilization, the female partner gets injections of fertility drugs for about eight to 10 days. And then we go ahead under IV sedation and go in through um, the vagina with an ultrasound and a needle and retrieve their eggs. When they wake up, we see how many eggs they had and then we fertilize them with the partner sperm or if they don't have a male partner with a donor sperm. Then these embryos are created over a five day period in the laboratory. The extra embryos are frozen and the ones we're gonna use, which is usually one or two, are placed into the uterus of the patient. If that patient is fortunate enough to get pregnant, then obviously they have extra embryos stored that they can use for future babies. If they have completed their, you know, what they wanted, if they've had their baby, if they've had their second baby, when they're done with having babies, if there are extra embryos frozen, then they have options. When the patient uh, has decided what they want to do with the embryos, which disposition they want, they want to uh, discard, donate to science or for embryo adoption, then they get the, their decision has to be done through a notary. We get those papers. The ones that are for donation then are isolated. Now, another patient comes in and says, hey, I'm trying to get pregnant, and we go through the process. If we find that that patient needs to uh, ha use a donor egg and a donor sperm, for example, a single female, then they might be a person who might be a candidate for embryo adoption because they don't have a partner, and they, let's say their eggs are not okay, so they have to use an egg donor. So now they have an egg donor and a sperm donor. It becomes really expensive and out of reach for a lot of people. Well, here we take those donated embryos that were already donated to the clinic, basically. And we would then donate it to this patient for free. And the only thing we do is basically charge for our services to take care of that person. The process of me doing an embryo transfer takes maybe 10 minutes, five minutes where I just basically call the patients in, tell them that they're, we're ready to transfer the embryos into them. They take a Valium uh, and they go in the room, they relax, they sign their paperwork, we wait. Once the medication's kicked in, I go in and basically, under ultrasound guidance, put the catheter into the uterus and release the embryos under ultrasound guidance into the uterus. Now, that's the embryo transfer process. So what I would be doing is, see over here, speculum. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this fluid in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use this fluid to enter. Okay. Okay. Here we go with the speculum. You're going to feel movement. You okay? Uh -huh. So what I just did is uh, put a speculum in. Uh -huh. Now I'm just going to wipe the cervix and find the entrance to the cervix, okay? Okay. This is the bladder right here. There's your uterus. So now you're going to feel some movement. And I'm right here in the vagina right there. Okay, I need to let it go for a second. Mm -hmm. Where's the rest of this? Can you hold this wire a little bit? Yeah, thank you. So you can help us. There's the view. That's it. And that's it. You see it? So 
I want to see the uterus, so how I had it. Endometrium, but I want to see a line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep that picture. Got it? Good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and try and enter and see if it's easy or hard, okay? Okay. So just move it around until you see my, yep, right there, the white spot. You see the white spot? Right under there. Yes. So that's me. Echo tip is the catheter. So now there must be fine tuning a little bit, so you can see more of that tip. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. That's what I want. Do you see? This is me. Right here. Right there. And we're going to go all the way up here. Okay? And then, 11 to 12 days from now, we celebrate. Yes, we do. Okay, Thelma's at the door, so I'm going to go get the catheter right here, through that window. Now you know what that window's for. Mm -hmm. The embryos are actually at the tip of this catheter. I'm going to cover it in here, put it in, and then slide the catheter up, okay? Perfect. So now, I'm going to go past this. There it is. That's me right there. I'm going higher. Sure. You have to adjust as we go. Adjust. You're doing an amniocentesis. Yeah. Beautiful. And show me better. And then, like, release them. Yeah, back right there. Right there. We are ready to release if you just move it around a little. Take a breath and hold. Find me the uterus and don't move. Yep, right there. Hold your breath. There you go. You see the movement going in? And there they are. That's it. I got the two in. So now I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. She's going to go get the catheter checked out to see if the uh, catheter is empty, but the embryos are right there. Now, it's not that we can see the embryos, okay? It's the embryos with the fluid around them in the uterus. This is your bladder. Mm -hmm. There's your uterus. Mm -hmm. And these are the embryos right there. I'll take a picture for you, okay? Okay. Put that in your album. As soon as she tells me that the catheter is empty, I'll take out the speculum. Clear? Thank you. All right. Don't move, okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the progesterone in for you. Yes. It's going to go in. Okay. okay. So now, so now I'm just going to have you don't and not to move at all, and I'll take care of you, okay?
Now the implantation process is the process of an embryo basically digging itself into the uterus and taking. That process is an inflammatory process that takes a few days. And the way it works is the embryo goes into the uterus and is dropped off as if it had come from the fallopian tube into the uterus, but we're just putting it from below into the uterus. And then the embryo starts signaling the endometrium, and then there is cell-to-cell -cell contact, and then invasion of cells into the endometrium, and then growth of that baby. The process of implantation, once it's figured out, though, someone will win the Nobel Prize, because it's a lot that we don't know about it. I, I believe that one of these days, someone will win a Nobel Prize on that. It is one of those places in on my world that is the least studied and least understood. This has been the Law of Attraction with Stephanie Haney. Thanks for watching.